Okay, so I'm back out here in the field. Uh, I'm going to give you the, the real skinny here, and I'm probably going to do this one more time uh, on this spot in the field where there was no fertilizer versus where there was fertilizer. Uh, I've got the Peckway TT6101 tether going. Timothy's got it on the uh, 7530. Um, we are running it in the e economy uh, mode on the uh, 540 PTO shift. And Joseph just showed up here, so don't mind the wind because we are actually outside. I do not have a microphone or a tripod with me at the moment, but I'm going to show you the difference. Okay, so you're probably looking and you're saying, oh wow, look, there's a lot of hay here. And there is, there's a huge amount of hay here because this is where the fertilizer was. As you can see, Timothy went a little too fast with the tether or maybe it wasn't centered over the, the windrows quite properly. Um, I've had him slow down to five miles per hour because I wasn't happy with the job that he was doing. But when you get to this point here, there's a line. And I'm going to pan over here. And you can look at this and see that the new growth of grass is actually poking through this. Now this was tetted like moments ago, so hold on one second. Yes, Joseph? I'm at the farm. Yeah, I know. I'll be right up there. I'll be right up there. I'm down here below the barn and Timothy's gonna... I'm below by Aunt Wendy's grave and I'll be up. Oh, okay. Alright, alright, bye. Okay, so uh, back to the video at hand. Uh, you can definitely see the difference. Uh, here's the hay where the new growth is poking up. And he just headed this like moments ago. And then you get over here and you can't see new growth. You can't see it until you get to say this spot here where it was a, it was a bit clumpy. So we're looking at probably three times the amount of hay where it was. Uh, fertilized versus where it was not fertilized. Um, there's there's around a hundred dollars worth of fertilizer to the acre on this hay crop if you were wondering. And Mr. Tim's gonna come by here real quick and I got him going in the right speed and there's clumps because my father's, uh, the case, I say my father's, the case windrower was not working properly and uh, I hope he slows down a little bit more for that because that thing just sounds horrible when you're going over big heavy windrows like that. Uh, but yeah, so here he comes with this. He's gonna he's cleaned up those clumps pretty well. Uh, so far I'm enjoying this tether. It's working quite well. Uh, 7530 is running somewhere around, I don't know, maybe 1600 RPMs. The PTO is running at 540 like it's supposed to and it is one quiet little beast. So now he's in the heavier hay and it just picks it up, chucks it out, levels it up. I'm going to walk over there real quick and take a look to see if it's doing what it's supposed to do. It is filthy wet, glistening with water. That's how wet it is because we have had a little over seven tenths of an inch of rain since we mowed it on top of this stuff. As you can see, it's starting to get ugly and how wet it is. It's like glistening in the sunlight. It looks like Edward Cullen if you're a, you know, a uh, vampire fan. I forget what the name is, Twilight or Twatlight as I always call it. Uh, yeah, so you got dry and not dry. I've got a good breeze going on here as you can probably hear. And there's the difference of what the tether does versus what the tether has not touched yet. Now, Timothy's going to finish this field up here. I left it high because I want a nice regrowth. It has already grown back about four, five, six inches. Here, I'm going to show you. You can see here the regrowth of that here. That's a good five, six inches. Um, orchard grass is really funny stuff. If you cut it too short, you'll cut the heart out of it and kill it. It won't survive, so you kind of got to be careful when you're doing that. But this is orchard, reed, canary, and Kentucky 31. So if you kill off the orchard, the Kentucky and the reed canary will take off and, you know, grow through. But anyways, that's enough of me yammering on. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I guess the hay crop is on its way.